guys, um, today I wanted to do a video on the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains and the perfect lip pairings for them. I did do a review of, of these on redmousebeauty.com, so if you would prefer to read the review instead of hear about it, then uh, go to redmousebeauty.com. But I have three shades. Um, the first one I have is Precious, um, this is Honey, and this one is Smitten. So they're all kind of like a varying degree of colors. <laughs> so I will swatch them right now on my hand. I also have swatches on the bottom. And these have been out for quite some time, but I remember when these came out, everyone was going berserk over them because they all wanted them so badly. <laughs> Precious is right there. Um, this is Honey, and that is Smitten. But yeah, these do have a staining effect. These are awesome. Um, I gave them five red mice out of five on my blog. Um, but yeah, they really, they last forever on your lips and they don't dry them out, which I find is a problem with a lot of staining products. But yeah, these just like last all day for me and with a lip pairing, they last even longer because it just keeps everything in check without drying out your lips. They have a minty kind of herbally scent and uh, they tingle on your lips a bit too. So it's kind of like a minty um, lip balm basically. So these are basically just a creamy finish. Um, they don't have any shimmer or anything like that. But these are marketed as balm stain, and I will say that they do definitely keep your lips in check. But I find if you reapply them, then it tends to get a bit thick and stuff, which is why I like to use the Revlon lip butters mostly for um, pairs, so that it just keeps everything perfect. I would recommend these to anyone who wants a lip that they don't have to worry about. They're so maintenance free basically. I wore Smitten the other day at work and I had it on for seven hours with one application and that was through two meals and a couple different drinks. I went into a meeting like six hours and wearing it and while it fades a little bit, it fades really nicely. So if you're worried about that, don't. These will be a lifesaver for you. Just to show you, like I'm rubbing it off on my hand here and Smitten is obviously staying more because it's got more intensity, but the other ones are staying as well. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. First one I'll swatch on my lips is uh, Precious. This is a nice nude color, which I think nude lips are great for everyone to have in their collection of makeup tricks. Yeah, so this is Precious. Right there. And I like to pair Precious with either Essence uh, in Creamy Nude, the lipstick. I'll put Creamy Nude on the bottom lip. That's what that looks like. Um, it would look better if I was able to rub my lips together, but. And then another pairing I like to use is the e.l.f. Hyper Shine Gloss in Fairy. Um, it's more pink than it's appearing here. And there you go. If you're looking for a nude lip that will last you all night long, definitely go with Precious. And then um, I would recommend pairing it with a lip product just to make it last even longer. So next up, I'm going to use Honey. So like this. Which is just a nice um, regular pink color. But it's just a little bit darker than my normal lips. Which might be kind of hard to see on camera, but it is easier to see in the blog. I think it might be kind of showing up better on my top lip. Alright, so this is Honey. And with Honey, I like to pair... If I'm going for a warmer look, I will use Peach Parfait, which is a lip butter. This particular lip butter has some sparkle in it. So it just kind of lightens it up and gives it a warmer tone so you get like pink and peach together. And then if I want to go kind of the same shade range, I will go with Berry Smoothie, which is also a lip butter. That might be kind of hard to tell. Last but not least is Smitten. So I'm gonna this one. This one's really obvious. All right, that is Smitten. Um, what I like to pair with Smitten, if I want to go a bit warmer, because this is a bit of a cooler tone, so if I want to warm it up a bit, I will use the Cherry Tart Lip Butter, which is like a red. Because I know for some people, they just find red to be just too intimidating for them. And Smitten, like while it is a statement lip, 
it's easier to wear than red, I think, because red, I feel like everyone associates with clowns. <laughs> Mixing red with a shade that is a bit cooler toned might help you out with that problem, if that's a problem that you think you have. Or just go with Smitten and with Raspberry Pie, which is another lip butter, and these two are very similar shades as well. I'm pretty sure these were like meant to be paired together. If I want like a a pinup lip without being red, I will go for Smitten with Raspberry Pi. So you can see Smitten kind of farther away here. With this eye look, I paired um, Precious, which is the nude, with the Essence Creamy Nude. Um, yeah. Ugh, that stuff does not taste good. <laughs> oh, another trick I have too, which I learned from um, Sam Sherman here on YouTube. If you want to make sure it doesn't get on your teeth, Take your thumb and you go like that and then it takes the excess um, lipstick off. So you might be able to kind of see it on my thumb there. Overall, the balm stains are awesome. I would absolutely recommend them to everyone because who wants to constantly be worrying about how their lips look when things like balm stains exist and you can just eat and drink and you don't have to worry about your lipstick being everywhere. Um, I'd say after about an hour, that's when they really like set. Um, and that's when they won't transfer as much. In the beginning, they'll definitely transfer. But um, just the stains themselves, if you don't layer it with a lipstick, give it like an hour and it will be set on your lips. Some people just kind of forget about them and uh, maybe you have some balm stains of your own and you just kind of like, oh yeah, I forgot how great they were. Or you just really are looking for something different with your lip products or you want something that'll last forever. Like those would be really good for weddings and stuff like that. Stuff that you don't want to be running to the bathroom all the time to check up on your lips or like have a little compact mirror or something like that. So, I think that rounds up this video. I will see you guys later, bye.